Uh, hello and welcome to the Grasshopper Commands Introduction Tutorial. I will be talking about uh, learning tips which will help you uh, learn Grasshopper faster and easier. Okay, for the first tip we go to the uh, right up here for the menu and the tip is about the interface. You can see that the default interface of Grasshopper is the textual part. So just right click on the menu and choose display as icons. It will make it uh, just compact, easier to reach and just go for the menus a lot easier. So this is the first tip. The second tip is about uh, showing the tools. So by default you can see that uh, Grasshopper when you put a tool in the canvas uh, just compacts and shows the name in the middle and uh, it also clips the name so you just only see the first letter for the inputs and outputs. So it's better to correct these. The first part is to go to the display and just choose draw icons. So I have the icon in the middle. That's better. The second is to choose draw full, uh, draw full names. I'm choosing draw full names. So we have a little bit of explanation for the input and output. Uh, working it is just a lot better. Uh, the third tip in this part is to uh, choose draw fancy wires if it's not activated. Because uh, when we're working, i uh, just give a little example right here. Uh, I'm just uh, making the data in groups or branches of data by grafting it and we can't see what happens but by choosing the draw fancy wires so I'm just activating, activating the draw fancy wires you can see that the data is in groups and that will help you to know what you need to do for flatten or graft or using other uh, tools to uh, make it uh, make it happen or uh, make it what we want to uh, and the last part is that we need the name of the tool right up here because uh, we lost it by choosing the draw icons. So basically what I'm doing right now is uh, using a plugin called Bifocals that you can just download the plugin and uh, drag it and drop it into the canvas of Grasshopper and uh, it's just installed like by dragging and uh, by double clicking on the canvas and searching for BIF by Focals, you can activate this tool and it's just for the educational purpose. You can see that the name comes up here and we have access to the name. It's better for us to remember the tool because uh, our brain just managed uh, manage the name and the icons and it will go right into our brain. So uh, the last tip was uh, using bifocals to uh, bring up the names up here and uh, like work so we know that our, like we are joining the text. Okay, and the last uh, small tip we can use is to grouping the tools because uh, sometimes we need a boundary right, right here to s uh, just move the tools because it's in the first step, the second step and we want to manage it better so we just choose the tools and uh, click on the middle mouse and I just choose groups. You can do that or uh, right click on the canvas and, do, and, and just choose group. And that's the second way. And you can see that those tools are in a group. So uh, you can move them easier. You can just uh, put a name for it. You right click on the group and go for the name here. So I just choose an or step one. And uh, the next thing is that if you double click on the group, you will have a graphical interface that uh, is fun and it's also uh, easier to uh, have it. And or another double click, we'll choose the rectangular. You can right click and see that it's box outline, blob outline, and rectang uh, rectangle outline. So you can easily uh, put a tool in the group by choosing it and right clicking on the group and add into the group you can choose it and remove it from the group or you can uh, completely remove the group by 
ungroup and you can uh, color it by using the color option and changing the color so uh, uh, just managing the uh, procedure we're going in the steps we are using in our algorithms so uh, these are the tips I wanted to talk about because in those tutorials that I uh, will talk about the tools and about the commands in Grasshopper I will be using these steps to um, show the name of the tool and have it more explained and uh, also have the menus uh, easier to remember that those are for the curves and the surfaces and the meshes and the intersections and transformation uh, and your brain will remember that uh, if you need an intersection you go to this uh, menu and all of the icons will be uh, uh, put into your brain uh, by time and as you are practicing so these are the uh, tips for the rhino uh, excuse me for the grasshopper commands tutorial and uh, mm, thank you for watching